Hatchig and I'm one of the implementation engineers here at EasyDMark and I'm going to demonstrate our newly updated and newly defined Easy SPF tool. So starting off, a couple of things to mention. This is I'm doing the tests on my test domain, chaparian.online. So let's go ahead and start. So we can see that uh, if I do an SPF lookup on my test domain, I currently have 14 lookups. So SPF has a query set up where you can't exceed the 10 lookup limitation. Once you exceed that lookup, your SPF will have perm error and it will basically fail the SPF check. So to uh, fix this issue, we have created a tool called Easy SPF. What Easy SPF does is we take all your includes as well as all your records and we flatten it into IP addresses. That way we can heavily reduce your lookups as well as make sure you don't exceed the 10 lookup limitation. So now I'm going to demonstrate how the Easy SPF tool operates. So once you come to Easy SPF and select your domain, we will automatically display all your includes and lookups, uh, includes and records that you have within your SPF record currently. So if, if we can click on SPF uh, raw record, you can see all of my records are here already. So well, how are we going to set this up? we go to setup DNS. Once you click on setup DNS, we provide you with a single include that's unique to your domain name. So right now it's unique to my test domain name. So what I would do is copy this, go to my DNS, which is Cloudflare in this case, and we will click on edit here, just remove this entirely. Uh, bear with me for a second and we will paste it here yep okay so once you click on save it should take a couple of minutes until it fully propagates of course let's go to here let's try to verify dns instant tlc and it's verified so once let me just remove my camera real quick okay so once the changes are made, once it is activated, you click on save record. Once you click on save record, the changes that are here, the records that are here are automatically updated onto your DNS. So let's say, uh, let's go to SPF once again and see what easy SPF did. So as you can see here, the 14 lookups have been reduced to eight. And if you had any syntax errors along the way, let's say you forgot a space, semicolon, whatever the case may be, we detect those changes and we make the changes automatically onto your DNS. So you don't have to check for an error, go to Easy SPF or in your DNS, copy a record, paste a record, everything is done from our side once Easy SPF is set up. Um, one more thing to note out, let's say you don't want to use MailChimp anymore and you just remove this, click on save record and once again the changes are automatically uh, made onto a DNS uh, so you don't have to copy and paste it just like I've mentioned. A uh, couple of things to note out uh, let's say you want to add a new source you click on add source you specify the name whatever the name you want it to be the record type let's just uh, give an example um, let's say my new uh, a record for example let's click on a and let's say it's sub dot online so you click on add here it is an a record is added but the this is not all you just have to click on save record so the changes are made onto your dns couple of things to note out here uh, the source name the source that we've added the volume here we check your aggregate data aggregate reports for the last 30 days and we uh, notify you the volume that each source had so for example in my case Google from Google five emails were sent same goes with Yandex from Yandex five emails were sent SPF part basically the include mechanism the a record MX record whatever the include mechanism may be 
it's it's uh, vis it's going to be visible here. SPF capabilities. So as you know, there are some third-party vendors like Mailchimp. They don't support SPF alignment. So we have more than two thousand uh, sources or third-party vendors in our database where we store, and we know that which third-party source doesn't uh, uh, provide SPF alignment. So if it's capable, you're going to see it's green. If it's not capable, then you're going to see it red. Subdomain capable means that you need to provide uh, the include in a subdomain level rather than a root domain level. One more query when it comes to the easy SPF. So let's say you we flattened all your IP addresses, everything's great, but you're using Ma Ma Mandrill and they have decided to rotate their IP addresses internally without you knowing. We detect those changes and we make the updates automatically onto your DNS. So you don't have to count easy SPF, make some record adjustments, click on save record, so on and so forth. So everything is done from our side and the query is set to check every five minutes. So for every five minutes, we check for all your IP addresses, all your includes. If something is changed, we will make sure to add it or update it whatever the case may be, onto your DNS, onto your current updated SPF record that you have. Um, this is uh, all regarding Easy SPF. Again, if you have any questions, the comment section is always available. And thank you very much for listening. Have a nice day. Cheers.